Hello, welcome to Orphan Espresso. I'm Doug. I'm Barb. And this is the OE Third Shot heat sink for small group uh, home lever espresso machines. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how this works. It's simple enough. We'll put it in the group. Uh, I've got a, this is my Frankenstein kind of test chromina. Uh, I've got a thermocouple here. This is about the position of the group that if you put on the temperature strips, that's generally where uh, one would put them. So I've got my thermocouple here under some aluminum tape. Uh, I only have Fahrenheit on this reading, on this omega gauge. But as you'll be able to see, it sucks the heat out of the group. Okay, it's made out of aluminum and has a silicone band on it, which you will need if you leave it in there long enough. Uh, the backstory here, as that cools the group, uh, we first made the third shot in 2011, December 2011, right? Yeah. When, was when that came out. And uh, th this is basically a solid Richard Penny uh, bottomless portafilter. And we were working with him at the time. And he had his machinist make 50 of these. And uh, we put a little silicone band on here. As you can see, there's, there's no carve out for it. So it had a tendency to wander around. Um, it was designed specifically for the Olympia Cremina, but also said to fit the Pavoni Euro Piccola Pro pre-millennium, uh, millennium model, etc. The fitment wasn't really so great on this first design. And we got involved doing some other things and we never bothered to do a redesign that would fit the Pavoni uh, groups better. Uh, it, it, there were just certain issues with it that it did what we really wanted it to do, but it wasn't as universal across all the machines as, as we needed it to be. So what did we end up here? 188. 188, so it really cooled it down, okay? I've got a lot of heat in here, Let's put it there. So, why did we make this? Well, we made it so we can, you can cool the group without putting uh, wet rags or some of these other uh, approaches that people will take because when the group gets too hot, the shot's too hot. And we called it the third shot because you can pull one shot generally uh, when the machine is cruising and it just comes up to temperature and then the second shot gets a little hotter and the third shot is way too hot, uh, thence the name. Uh, the, the revisiting this is because a couple of months ago, uh, if not more, Lance Hedrick did a, a YouTube video about Olympia Carminas and pulling shots with him. And he had an old machine and he had a new machine. And he's just casually going along talking about the shots and the machine and how you use it. And boom, he pulls out one of the original third shots and slapped it into the group. And I was watching the video and I, I looked at that and I said, I don't believe it, there's a third shot. And uh, showed it to Barb and we were both marveling at it like what a small world. There's this guy. In Portugal. In Portugal. Uh, this was made, there weren't influencers when this was made. This is a pre-influencer thing being used by an influencer one of 49 that exist in the world, and it's like, how weird is that? But you then see, we started getting emails. then we started getting emails, and so we decided, well, we're going to revisit this project. Uh, we made some really important changes, so it's, it fits the group a lot better. Uh, our original design, the, this part of the third shot impinged on the screen. And it barely went in and turned, and then we realized, well, the screen is not what we want to cool down, we want to cool down the metal of the group. And so we, we did some redesign, we made sure it fit. And I'll just show you the, the difficulties here, is, is that this was very fussy to get in. You had to tip it in and whatnot, and it, it was not satisfactory. Let me go ahead and show you that this is a, this is a, a Millennium, Pavoni Millennium group straight in. This is a Pavoni Premillennium group. You have to be, make sure you find it. Let me find my... Okay, we got a good fit there. So we've covered both of those machines and we've got the Cremina. And so 
you can thank Lance Hedrick for lighting a fire under us to, to make this. It's made out of aluminum. It weighs 225 grams. It's got the silicone band, which is important. There's a race in here so it doesn't wander around or get lost. And that's the third shot. Uh, it, it basically will just simply, it does what it does. It cools the group. So there we have it. OE third shot.